Right now in Sydney, Australia, it is 7.52 p.m. Australian Eastern Center time. I want to know what your local time is currently. And if you are watching at a ridiculous time of the day, you guys are the best. If you're watching at a ridiculous time of the day, welcome to our everyday tournament experience. Yes. I changed time zones for Evo. I think like we are the time controllers. As, as soon as we get well, into we the stream We live in the future, world. so it makes sense, right? I think so. Australia is around about 15 hours ahead of everywhere else. Yeah, Ooh. except for New Zealand. Except for uh, the Asian regions, too. So, Itabashi Zangief on the left, obviously, playing the big man. Full of hair, in the chest. <laughs> I was gonna say, on top? Nah. nah. Versus EGK Brad. With his bay Cammy, currently getting piled driver into the and concrete. It's like he just picks up where he left off. You know? It's like you, you belong on the concrete. On the asphalt. Get in that asphalt. <laughs> yeah, K Brad's hands are off the stick. He's like, you know what? You have that one. That's all. That's I'm it. done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, this is it. <laughs> you just asked what time it was. It's time for me to go home. That is correct. No, but this is K Brad we're talking about. Ah, we got three sets. He's still in. Ouch! And the armor. I can, I can tell you, just watching K-Brad's hands right now, he's sitting at three-quarter screen and after every one of those normal the spiral arrow nice. pops. Guaranteed. Any button, any like limbs he throw out is not good at all. Yeah, because the thing is, Itabashi Geef is going to be poking with that jab a lot. So K-Brad's going to be chucking out those heavy buttons to out-prioritize it, get the spiral arrow, and then go from there. Here's a chance for K-Brad. Nice use of... The V reversal, yeah, awesome. putting the advantage awesome. back to his side. Oh, good attempt there by Itabashi. Then Gief. That crouch jab so good. Can't be in that range. Because that's gonna happen. <laughs> because the chop is gonna anti-air you from miles sat away. There and jabbed at the floor forever. And the then moment K-Bread jumps. One moment. Jab anti-air. So good. Brilliant. So fast as well. It's like four frames, I think. So good. So Shout out to the chop. He had to do it. it Ouch. Great. Oh, out of range. Too ambitious. Maybe he tried to use the stronger version and it was a shorter distance. Let's see, everyone is greedy at some point. Just uh, don't turn that greed into mistakes. <laughs> Here comes the SPD, dash it forward. Uh, okay, Brad, time to go for a ride, buddy. Okay, Brad is uh, learning the distance at the moment. Yeah, I think he's just trying to feel himself Ouch. out of this point. But you gotta be aware, Zangief does have a very long reach on most of his buttons. Nice, nice. awareness by K Brad throwing the V reversal. EX SPD, here we go. Dash forward setup. Such a knife edge situation. Like, K Brad Don't obviously. Press buttons. Oh. He wants to get in and hit some buttons and pile some pressure on, but every time he does, Itabashi Geek just goes, you know what? Let's go for a spin. Usually, for all... Oh, oh my god! Woo! Thank you, based EX SPD in the air. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, for all uh, SPD variations, the ones in the ground, uh, medium, heavy, and EX all have a setup after the uh, spin up. Only the light one is minus two. But light also has the best range, so... So, yeah. So the player have to definitely pick the right range. But once he picks the range that he wanted to pick, it is definitely all Zengi from there on. Nice uses of the jab and the light kick. This is a better round by K-Brad, obviously. He's winning. Let's see. Oh, but the way he's nice approaching range. the match is so much smarter. Airtight, safe offense, and then backs away to that footsie's range goes for the counter post and comes back I in. think our audience in Twitch chat is learning. Someone just suggested, let's buff Cammy. Why don't we just buff everybody? Yeah, just, just buff everyone. Just, just do it. Because everyone is getting their heads planted. Every character getting knocked into off. Into the asphalt. The only character that needs to be nerfed. Get in that asphalt. The only one. Yeah, this, is, by this is the range he wants to hold. He doesn't necessarily have to actually do anything gimmickry from here. Oh no. Ooh, if that heavy kick connected, oh my day. Regardless, oh my setups. 
Ouch! <laughs> Get in that asphalt! Somewhere at Capcom, there's a game designer crossing out every buff that he'd written down as <laughs> on the table for Geef going, you know what, he doesn't need that. Yeah, he's, he doesn't he's, need he's, that. He's too good. He's alright. What's up with all these people not raiding Geef? And some of this thing, well, he can do that? He can do that? How does he do that? The furious nunnies. <laughs> the, the score is now 2-0. Much more slow pace this round. Because technically, ooh, ooh, ooh. with the same amount of buttons pressed by both players, Inabashi wow. Zengi is definitely uh, like one step ahead in terms of damage. You know what I'm really liking now? Now that K-Brad's established that more conservative stance just outside sweep range, hmm. Inabashi Gif is now counter poking this stand heavy punch. Nice use of the V-reversal. Once again, that's just out of the SPD range. Well, very wild. I don't DP think by Cabra. I don't know what that was. I don't think he's throwing out jabs to hit. I think he's throwing out jabs to bait the heavy punch. Mm. A couple of times now he's gotten popped with that thing. Someone in Korean wrote chicken soup. I don't chicken know what. Soup. I don't know why that's even related. Shout out to the Korean viewers. Oh. And oh, and he, his jab was already out. So that was so lucky for Cabra. Ouch! <laughs> it's a combo, actually. It's very nice. It's so scary. There it is. That counterpunch jab is so Ow. strong. Standing strong. The headbutt. The oh, headbutt. No. And the jab to finish off K Breath's journey of Street Fighter V Top 8 here in Sydney, Australia. Very well done to K Breath coming this far. That hurt to watch.